At first glance, a honey locust and a black locust will seem pretty similar. They both have spiky bits, produce legumes, and neither of them have simple leaves. But if we take a little closer of a look, they're both pretty different. So let's give them a gander. This is a black locust, which is a native yet invasive species of tree to eastern North America that can live to be about 75 to 100 years old. Black locusts form colonies and fixate atmospheric nitrogen, allowing them to survive in poor quality environments. These trees have brown to gray, deeply furrowed bark with distinct interlacing ridges. The furrows often have an orange tint inside. If you're looking for a black locust yourself, you can typically find them in upland forests, along roadsides, or along a forest edge. Honey locusts, like this one, are also native to Central and Eastern North America and are actually a lot less aggressive than our black locusts. And they are actually used as street trees commonly. And the cultivars used for street trees are typically thornless and fruitless. In the wild, honey locusts grow massive thorns along their trunks to prevent herbivory. When young, their bark is a smooth grayish brown, and as they mature, their bark becomes scaly, forming large vertical plates, darkening to a gray brownish black. If you're looking for a honey locust yourself, you can find these versatile trees in wet areas such as bottomland forests or along floodplains but you can also find them in pretty dry areas, like on slopes or in old fields. Both species have slender to stout twigs that are glabrous and zigzag to some extent. They also both lack apical buds. Instead, the bud that is at the top of the twig is a false apical bud. It's just another lateral bud. Both species have lateral buds that are relatively hidden and are naked, meaning that they have no bud scales covering them. Now that we have their similarities out of the way, let's see how these twigs differ. A black locust twig will usually be a reddish brownish gray color with a pair of stipular spines at each node. These stipular spines are the biggest clue that you have yourself a black locust. Honey locusts do not have these, and a black locust will also sometimes have these stipular spines growing out of their trunks. A honey locust twig will usually be red to brown to gray in color, possibly green, and its nodes are going to be swollen, looking almost round. If we take a look at the tip of these two species, they are very similar, both being continuous and circular. Although, a black locust tip will usually be white to brown in color, and the honey locust tip will usually be white to pink in color. Hopefully, you have figured out which species you have before getting to the pith, though. As far as the leaves go, both species have green, alternate, compound leaves. But, there's a big difference in their structure. Black locust leaves are pinnately compound with 7 to 22 leaflets on shorter stalks with entire margins and pointed tips, whereas honey locust leaves can be either pinnately or bipinnately compound. Most often, they are bipinnately compound. Flowering happens in May to June for both species, and both species are insect pollinators, but the flowers have very different appearances. Black locusts have white drooping inflorescences that are perfect, meaning that they have both male and female reproductive parts, whereas honey locusts have yellowish-green flowers in drooping inflorescences. These can be perfect or imperfect depending on the tree. Both species produce legumes that disperse seeds by animals and gravity, but black locusts finish developing their fruits first in August to September, being smaller with papery shells containing 2 to 10 brown to dark brown shiny seeds. Honey locust fruits will finish their development in about September to October, being long, curved, often twisted fruits, each containing many flat brown seeds surrounded by a sticky sweet pulp. Alright, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed learning how to spot the difference between a black locust and a honey locust with me. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in my next video.